All right, in this video, we're going to find the third degree Taylor polynomial for the function uh, 1 over 2 plus x at the value of x equals 1, or equivalently, uh, we could say a equals 1, the way I have it written. So let's write it as a equals 1. So again, to get the uh, third degree Taylor polynomial at our value of a equals 1, I'm just going to use uh, our formula right here. Uh, got it written a little more compactly. Um, so we'll have f of a, which is going to be f of 1, plus f prime of a over 1 factorial, x minus uh, a to the first, f double prime of a over 2 factorial, x minus a to the second, and so third degree, so we'll have uh, f triple prime of a over 3 factorial, and then x minus our a value cubed. Okay, so again, our function f of x here is 1 over 2 plus x. I'm going to write this as 2 plus x to the negative first, just, you know, for taking derivative purposes. So f prime of x will get negative 1 times 2 plus x to the negative second. We've got to use the chain rule, but the derivative of the inside is just going to be uh, times 1. f double prime of x is going to be 2 so negative 2 times negative uh, 1 will give us positive 2. And then 2 plus x to the negative third power. And then we'll have f triple prime of x. So we'll get negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. And then 2 plus x to the negative fourth power. Okay, so now I'm just going to start plugging in our values. So f of 1, again, that's just going to be 1 over 2 plus 1, or 1 third f prime of 1 will get uh, negative 1 over 2 plus 1, so that'll give us 3 to the second power uh, when we move our exponent downstairs. So that's negative 1 ninth. f double prime of 1, that's going to be 2 over, let's see, so 2 plus 1 again, so we're just going to keep getting 3's to the third power, so that's 2 over 27. And uh, f triple prime of 1, that's going to give us negative 6 over, I guess, 3 to the 4th power. Um, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So that's negative 6 times, well, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So let's see, we could always get rid of one of the 3's, so 3 goes into 6 twice. So it looks like we'll be left with negative 2 over, um, so 3 cubed is going to be 27. Now I'm just going to go back in and fill in our formula with these numbers. Again, we can just reduce the factorials. So it says we'll get f of 1. So again, f of 1 is just equal to 1 third. Let's see, f prime of 1, that's negative 1 ninth over 1 factorial x minus 1 to the first, um, f double prime of 1, we said that's 2 over 27, and then over 2 factorial, x minus 1 squared, and then f triple prime of 1, we said that's negative 2 over 27, over 3 factorial, and then we'll be left with x minus 1 cubed. And again, now we've got our approximation, it's just a matter of... Uh, you know, just a matter of simplifying it now. So, all right, so that's one-third minus, I guess we'll have one-ninth times x minus one. Let's see. Um, so two over 27 divided by two factorial. Um, well, that's just going to be two over 27 times, I guess, a half. So uh, those are going to cancel out. So 2 over 27 divided by 2, that's just going to be positive 1 over 27, x minus 1 squared. And then we're going to have negative, let's see, so 2 over 27. When we divide by 3 factorial, um, that's dividing by 3 times 2 times 1, so that's going to be equivalent to multiplying by 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. So I guess the 2's are going to cancel out. We'll be left with 1 over... Uh, 27 times 3, so that's going to give us 1 over 81, x minus 1 to the third power, 
And now we have our uh, degree three, our degree three approximation.